The Wrangler Gold Tour, presented by Justin Boots on CBS Sports Network, is sponsored by Wrangler. Long live Cowboys. By WeatherGuard, the official truck box of the PRCA. By Justin Boots, the official boots of the PRCA. Authentic handcrafted cowboy boots since 1879. JustinBoots.com. And by Kubota Tractor Corporation, where passion meets performance. Kubota helps you achieve more. Well, Butch Bullfighting has returned to the PRCA ranks. Some greats like Rob Smets and Miles Hare are behind getting a tour going again. They're having some pretty good success. You know, it's really successful, and it's fun to watch. These guys are so talented, and these aren't just a bunch of Bramer Bulls. These are Mexican fight bulls. They know how to get them. Suzanne is with the winner. Well, taking the bullfighting champion title here in San Antonio. Congratulations, Zach Flatt. Let's talk about the competition. What was involved today here in San Antonio? Uh, six of the top guys, it's, it's, you know, considered freestyle bullfighters. Uh, the rodeo committee here, they, they kind of went through the list and, and chose the guys, and we showed up, gave them our best, and they brought six of the best bulls going down the road. We just had a cattle battle. So you're going to be bullfighting all season long, and for anybody who's watching at home going, we think bull riding, you know, is a little crazy. Bullfighting just as crazy. What do you love about it? I, I don't know how to explain it. You know, there's there's nothing like being able to have complete control of an animal like that. You know, it's, it's an amazing feeling. It's an accomplishment. You have to be pretty uh, agile, too. Yeah, you've got to stay in shape. Well, congratulations, man. Thank you. I'm going to put that in the dangerous occupation category, <laughs> uh, along with bull riding. Curtis Turner from moments ago, hard knocks was the bull, no score. You know, I thought he was going to get by him. Not many right-handed bull riders get by this bull, and you can see why. He will run you off your row. Guthrie Murray, another Andrews bull, and no score. Yeah, they didn't even name him. Sammy Andrews has so many good bulls, he's running out of names. 809 <laughs> is the number, and he is a good one. Riker Carter lifting lives from DNH cattle, no score. Yeah, Riker Carter, 27th in the world standings right now. Uh, that ride right there would have really helped. One cowboy with a qualified ride, it's that guy right there, Scotty Knapp, 88 points. And coming up next, a three time world champion, Sage Kimsey, the Ram tough matchup against another Sammy Andrews bull. This one with a great resume, the Bucking Bull of the Year, Midnight Bender. This could be spectacular. You know, it could be. I like, you know, I like this matchup, though. I think Kimsey can ride this bull, depending on his injury. You know, Sage Kimsey's only managed to ride two bulls here at San Antonio so far out of five attempts. He's not on his A game, but never count him out. Midnight Bender, okay, Kimsey's got a good seat. He's got a lot of drop. He's going the other way. He's got him into his hand. Sage Kimsey, oh, man. 7.8 seconds. The Justin Clark uh, freezing right there. So close, two tenths of a second away from what may have been a round winning bull ride on an amazing bull. Yeah, this bull, you know, I talk about drop. A lot of air, a lot of break over. Sage, he just could not get that left foot driven back down to get his upper body straight. Kimsey lets one get away, and I mean he let him get away too. He should have ridden that bull. Yeah, three straight world uh, titles for that cowboy. 311,000 in the bank for him a year ago as Joe Frost gets set. Bandy's bad boy is going to be the bull for Frost. Linderman Award winner in 2014. He's good. Can win on the other side of the arena as well. Three trips to the Wrangler NFR, and man, that bull faded a mile in a blink. Boy, he did. Joe Frost, before that bull, he has ridden every bull here at San Antonio. He was five for five, and I thought he had him. You talk about catch some gears. Watch this bull. Joe Frost, he's got a good seat, but he's kind of moved to the inside. He has to get up and get out of there. And when he does, the speed of that bull just shot him off his row. Our weather guard save of the night as you see our weather guard bullfighters get to work. And, you know, this bull was fast. And things happen pretty fast that way for your bullfighters as well. And look at that right there. I mean, Joe Frost comes off out of position. I mean, on his back, rolls up. He doesn't know where that bull's at. You talk about step in. These guys are amazing. I love to see these guys work. Yeah, great teamwork for them. But for Joe Frost, disappointment. No score for him as he makes his way out of the arena. Now you got Garrett Smith getting set to go. Still just one guy with a qualified ride. Scotty Knapp, first guy out at 88. Everybody else has hit the dirt. Well, that could change right now. Garrett Smith, he's in the top five in the world standings. He's been riding good, but he cannot get it done. And look at those guys step in. That was Cody Webster. That bull had Garrett Smith absolutely targeted. And Webster moves in. The bull goes, wait a minute, wait a minute, where'd my guy go? And that's all it takes for Garrett Smith to get up and get out of there safely. Look at 
That's some bullfighting right there, folks. Yeah, and Webster just become a regular at the Wrangler National Finals. Working along with Dusty Tuckness, those guys have serious game. And here comes Sweet Rose Bruiser. Yeah, we saw Brendan Eldred on this bull at the Wrangler NFR round number nine. And I'm telling you, that was the best bull ride of the 10 days. Yeah, it was amazing. Brendan Eldred, boy, he had a great Wrangler National Finals rodeo. Sweet Pro Bruiser, he had a great trip, just not good enough. The thing I like about him, he bucks a lot of guys off, but if you do your part, if you're in the right spot at the right time, this is a great opportunity for Roscoe Jarbo. Yeah, that was a 94 and a half point bull ride. I think Roscoe would take that right now. And Roscoe's one of those guys made it through the Wrangler NFR a year ago. Tons of talent, here we go. Oh, Roscoe into his hand, makes a good recovery. Now if he can get over there and finish, it's close. Roscoe Jarbo is going to ride Bruiser. Holy cow. He's not even sure if he's there. Now he is. <laughs> it wasn't pretty right there at the end. Doesn't have to be pretty. That bull is so good. Look at this. As he goes back into his hand, Roscoe's away from his hand. He's locked in there. It's like, I'm going to hang on until my head hits the ground because it is within a second. And you know it. You talk about big effort to get back even into a position to ride that bull. And Jarbo, he pulled it off. 91 points. Man. He's rewarded for it as well. Wrangler Million Dollar Tour, San Antonio Rodeo Champion. And Roscoe Jarbo, they talk about him. He's got so much raw talent. Maybe a world champion in the making. I think you're right. Scotty Knapp right there with him at 88 points. So Jarbo, 27,000 plus here. He's standing by now with Suzanne. The 2016 Rookie of the Year taking the win here in San Antonio, Roscoe Jarbo. First time competing here in San Antonio. How great to take this win. Uh, it's pretty special, you know. We, you hear all the stories about San Antonio being the best, most prestigious rodeo in, in the United States in, anyway. And uh, come here and get it done the first time, pretty blessed. Let's talk about the bull you draw, Sweet Pro Bruiser. You knew this bull. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, Known him for a long time, been wanting to get on him, and uh, a couple of my buddies rode him, Derek Obaba, Brendan Eldridge, Brendan at the finals, and uh, so I kind of know his pattern, and uh, just blessed to get him stuck, and just by the hair on my chin, too. Well, San Antonio is one of those rodeos that really helped set up your winter, and you can see right here, Josh Peak, the all-around title, all the way down to Roscoe Jarbo, and all these guys making big money. And that will power them into the summer and maybe another Wrangler NFR appearance. Our next Wrangler Champions Challenge here on CBS Sports Network will be in Grand Island, Nebraska. You can see it Sunday, March 19th at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. For more, go to ProRodeo.com. Our standings right now in our Wrangler Champions Challenge Series cover of the newcomers, Polaris and Boot Barn, kind of right there in the middle, but Resist All setting the pace over 16,001 so far. Well, thanks for watching in San Antonio, one of the best rodeos the PRCA has to offer. A 12-time PRCA Large Indoor Rodeo of the Year. And now you know why. For Butch Knowles, Joe Beaver, and Suzanne Alexander, I'm Jeff Metters. So long, everybody.